What's up guys, welcome to the channel. My name is Frank Macaluso and today we're gonna to be doing a special unboxing. I don't usually do unboxings very often, but I am going to be doing one today on this very, very special tool that's going to enhance my garage um, in a very, very, very big way. And it's going to help automate and, and pro uh, provide some pretty accurate uh, parts for all of my custom projects. Namely, as you can see over here, as you can see over here, my E31 S85. So this guy is gonna have a lot of custom parts added to it and manufactured for the front end suspension and steering setup. So as you can see, we're gonna be using this a lot in the May, June timeframe. And this tool is going to help us out a lot. Let's take a look and see what it is. Here it is. This is the Arc Droid. Basically, it is a plasma CNC machine, which allows you to use a plasma cutter mounted to this machine. You can put in G-code, or you can use what's called a simple trace function and actually use the arm to trace out the part that you want to fabricate, which is great because you can actually use a cardboard cutout template of a bracket that you make in an application, put it on the steel, trace it out with a, with a stylus, and it automatically creates that part and creates the g-code for that part in the application. This thing is completely self-sufficient. It comes with a screen. Well, let me just tell you. <laughs> I'm just excited about it. I've been waiting this, for this thing. It, it was on an Indiegogo, and I bought it on an Indiegogo, which is basically like a Kickstarter program. And, um, you know, obviously these are risky, but they actually ended up coming through on this. And uh, whoa. this is the... This is the uh, TFT, or the, the screen. All right. All right. This is exactly as advertised. It looks exactly as I expected it to. So the idea with this machine is that the stylus goes in here, or well, the stylus if you're going to be doing like a, uh, a trace function, or if you want to put the plasma head in here to actually do the cutting, you put the plasma head in the z-axis that goes up and down. In fact, it's a, very, it's a very unique design that the up and down motion is actually by cable, not a screw that you normally see. Um, but the idea here is that this thing has a 26 inch wide by 15 inch cutting area which is uh, pretty impressive for a unit that you can literally pick up and put on any table or any working area and have it cut remotely. You can do it over here, you can do it over there, anywhere in your garage, which is a really, really big plus because if you were actually, if you had uh, like a four by two or a four by four type of plasma cutting machine table, you can't really move that thing around. This thing can really be, you can put, put this in the back of your truck and just go to a job site as long as you have, um, you know, the right, hookups and you have air and all that other stuff for plasma cutting itself but this machine here is very very portable which is something that is not offered anywhere else in the industry there's nothing else that i saw quite like this and when i found this on on instagram i asked a couple questions they were very responsive and i just had to have it and um i believe that on their website they are they do have this for sale now it's uh, something that you can actually purchase um but this is definitely the first run of these things in fact I think that they only first started shipping about a month ago um, in, uh, in February of 2022. Um, so anyway, let's just take this thing and let's put it on, uh, on the bench and let's start powering it up and let's just see what this thing can do. And to power that Arc Droid, we're gonna be using a Hypertherm Power Max 30 XP. This is a pretty elite plasma cutter that can, that can cut steel and aluminum. In fact, it can cut up to half an inch, and we will be doing that on a couple of projects. But this is the basically the prime plasma cutter that we're gonna be using for all of these applications. Now, any plasma cutter can really work with the Arc Droid, but this one I think is the best. It's gonna be the most accurate. You can do some really high uh, accuracy cuts. Uh, they call them fine line cuts uh, for thin steel, so you don't warp it and induce too much heat into it. But this is actually the, uh, the plasma cutter that we're gonna be using for all future applications. Now a little bit more about the plasma cutter itself. This is not a high frequency start. The Arc Droid does not like high frequency starts. So we have a blowback start or a, um, uh, I think it's called a blowback start. And this is the PowerMax 30 HP by Hypertherm. This is a very standard, almost like an entry model plasma cutter. And what we've done was, 
we've actually broken out the, uh, the two wires here that um, go to the torch handle, and, the, and we've um, broken those, the purple and the um, orange wires out, and we've hooked it up directly into the arc droid itself. And what that allows it to do is it knows when to turn the torch on and off. So it's the same thing as literally pressing the handle. So we've got our arc droid set up here and I'm really excited to get this thing going. Now we already calibrated it. If you want to check out the calibration, check out the link right above and you'll see how to calibrate this thing if you ever did have an arc droid. It's actually really, really easy. But now that everything is basically set up and ready to go, we can actually trace something and make our first cut. So this is the main screen that you're going to end up working out of most of the time. The touch screen on this thing is really, really nice. It's a capacitive uh, touch screen, which means it's very, very gentle to the touch. You don't have to push or put too much pressure on the screen in order to do it. Um, the way that this works is you have your run, you have your pause, you have your torch head control right there. You can turn your torch on and off, like I was telling you earlier with the, with the wiring. Um, and then of course you have over here, you have your home, your zero, trace, load, and tune. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna take a look at um, the trace function. And the trace function is not necessarily tracing, which you would end up doing with the stylus setup. This is the stylus setup right here, right? And this thing kind of hooks right onto that and, uh, and it allows you to use a stylus, which has a little push button here and it connects with, a, with an audio jack and the jack goes right into here. Um, but we're not going to do that right now. We can do the trace function later for more complex items, but I wanted to do something very simple. And in this menu, you're allowed to move, you can move this anywhere you want. And as you're moving it, you can see that the point of reference also moves. So it knows exactly where it is in space. And you can use your zero point in the back in the menu here to identify where you want your zero to be. So if you have a piece that's of a certain size and shape and you only want it to cut like Let's just say you wanted to cut right here and you wanted that to be your zero. Well, that happens to be there on the screen, but the second you play, press zero, it makes that axis your zero point, which is really, really good because if you were to go back into the trace menu and just add a rectangle for, uh, let's just do a uh, rectangle for example, right? Um, so you add a rectangle here and you press this button and it starts, it basically places the rectangle right there and it gives you the dimensions of how big it is. I'm not sure how big, it looks like it's 100 millimeters by 60 millimeters. I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. So we can go like this and we can make this 50 by 20, right? So you can see it's a little bit smaller now. Um, so let's just make a quick cut of that and let's just, oh, actually what we can do is you go, um, I guess you go exit. Oh no, keep working. Oh, you have to save it. So then you go save where it saves it and then you can exit. All right, so now if you wanted to run this thing, you can run it and you can turn the torch off and you can do a quick run. And you can see it's going down, it's finding its home, right? And it hasn't cut yet. So now it's gonna start cutting. And that's it. So it basically just cut it and we can take this and zoom in and we can pan. So let's zoom in a little bit more. All right, so there we go. So what it's gonna do now is it's gonna create, it's gonna first cut the circle. Oh yeah, so I don't wanna cut, <laughs> I don't wanna cut the rectangle and then cut the circle because the rectangle is gonna fall out and then I'm gonna have a circle left. So I want to switch this up and actually make the circle cut first and then cut the rectangle and then I'm in good shape. The new center, let's save it. Okay, exit, zero. And let's uh, cut. A lot slower now. And the circle fell. Much cleaner cut. Yeah, 
The air is continuing to go because it's uh, cooling the torch off. This is very hot, so we have to let it cool off. Looks pretty good. I cut off some of the slag from the backside, but uh, yeah, that circle's offset just a little bit, just like it is in the picture here. Um, it's cut really nice, nice, clean, solid cut. Um, and uh, I'm very happy with this. This is awesome. So if ever I wanted to cr cut another one, what I would do is I would just move the torch right here, right? Right, just like that. And then I would just press zero again, right? And then move it over, obviously, right? So right there, it's expecting to make its cut right in the center. And that is the center, and that's when it will make that next cut. So anytime you want to make a cut, instead of just copy pasting, you just move the torch, re-zero, cut. Move the torch, re-zero, cut. Which is really great because your, 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 your panel is going to change um, its availability of real estate as you continue to cut weird and different shapes of parts. And to get the most out of your, your piece of material, it's really good to be able to just take your guy, move it right there, and just start cutting. I know most other plasma machines already do that but you can even move your piece and everything like that. So it's actually really, really cool. So now let's trace something a little bit more complex. Let's do an F just for fun. So what I'll do is, well actually F is for Frank. But what I'm gonna do is I'm, gonna, I'm actually literally gonna write an F just like this, right? Um, and I want to uh, trace it using the stylus and then cut it. So let's try that. All right, let's take the torch head off. Should just slide right off like this. Just like that. Let's draw, I'm actually gonna draw an R because number one, that's my daughter's initial. And it also displays how this thing can do curves, not just straight lines. So let's just do this. Let's draw it right here. Okay, so just like we did before with, this, with the shapes, we have to start with the thing we wanna cut first. In this case, we're gonna cut this little piece out first. So you press the button. It makes a point, press another button, and it starts making your line. And in this case, since it's a tight radius turn, what we're gonna do is we're gonna press and hold as we're tracing the entire hole. And then we let go, right? And then what we do is when we're done, we just double click, okay? And now it's asking us the lead and the cut. So what we want to do is, I think we can zoom in here, right? Yeah. So we want the inside cut. We want to lead in five millimeters, that's fine. And we're good. So now we do the next piece, which is right here. All right, so now, We've got our R, and this one here, we're gonna be doing an outside cut, and we're leading in with five millimeters, and we're good. Okay, so now this thing is literally ready to cut, and we need to take the stylus off, put the torch back on, and let's save it. Great. Exit, and now it's ready to cut. Okay, I made a rookie mistake and I left the screen pretty close to where it was cutting. No harm, no foul, but I need to get really used to keeping that screen away from the cut when I am ready to do the cutting. Uh, the R did not fall and I think it might be because, um, looks like it might not have pierced all the way through around some of that, but I'm gonna poke it through and, and have it finished there. I think that maybe either the amperage wasn't high enough or, um, or my, my speed was just still a little bit too fast, but either way, I'm gonna pierce, Poke that through, I'm gonna clean it up and see how it looks. Check it out. The R, the R. It looked, it's, it's amazing. Um, it didn't take much to actually poke this out and clean it up. It's actually very easy just to use a screwdriver and it fell right down. That's about all I got, guys. This is an amazing tool for any beginner CNC. Um, the Indiegogo was an amazing opportunity for me to get on, in on this on the ground floor and even the future software updates are gonna make this even more powerful. Um, I'm gonna be using this on a lot of cool projects and really putting this tool to the test on the E31 uh, S85 that I'm gonna be picking up uh, in about a month 
and this E24 next video up if you want to click above on the playlist on what I've been doing with this. I'm going to be using it to relocate some calipers and it's just going to be an awesome tool. I'm just very, very excited to use this. It's so easy. It's simple, it's user friendly, and it really did not break the bank. Guys, that's, a, that's about it for me. My name is Frank Macalusa from Garageaholic. Please check out all my other playlists on all the other things that I've done on this channel and tell your friends. Uh, and uh, just looking forward to, uh, to hearing more about what you guys think about this ArcDroid Plasma Cutter. Thanks guys, take it easy.